Hi, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. I do candid video interviews. And if you're a painter, a sculptor, or a candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know. The best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview. With that being said, I want to you know talk about today. You know, you. I mean, here's a question I have for you. Is Mac Daddy pimping you? Now, by Mac Daddy, I mean the established situation, the status quo, the way you gotta do things, how you, why you have to be so correct and don't stand out, don't make waves. You know, is, is that, is Mac Daddy pimping you? The Mac Daddy pimps you because Mac Daddy's telling you in order to be accepted in his particular world, you have to do things a certain way. You know, you, you can't, there's certain norms you have to follow certain, you know, group norms that Mac Daddy establishes or that Mac Daddy perpetrates. He, he doesn't make them, he just perpetrates them. And he pimps off of you. By that I mean is he, he, you know, he lives off, you know, by making, he lives by making you do his, you know, sell his work, your work. He takes a big share of it. Okay. I gallon as I get in a way on Mac Daddy's, but, you know, so now to say, you know, and what I'm going to show you is how to pimp off of Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy made a post about um, artists and what they should do. And really, it was a really good, a good post that he made. So I'll put it like this. I'm going to quote uh, a segment from the Plain Air magazine. And it's uh, by Jay Abrams, which I respect, the brilliant marketing guy. Maybe this could help you out. Maybe you could take advantage of it. Okay, let me, let me cut it over here. All right, so he says here, <clears throat> there, there are two things that probably are more important than anything else an artist can do. The first is to be relentless about building their brand. As a collector, if I don't know them, I don't buy them. Brand is the magic that allows them to get not noticed get their prices higher and make them stand out above all others. Those who can uh, continuously and ethically build their brand and continually fuel it for the rest of their careers are the ones with the nicest studios and the biggest travel budgets. There is absolutely nothing more important other than being the best painter they can be. Then he says, and went on to say, branding is a combination of awareness, strategies, trust building, and credibility boosters. An artist needs something to talk about, something their gallery can talk about, something that makes them perceived as more prominent as an artist than anyone else. All right? Now, that's what we've been talking about, guys. That's what Jay Abraham says, and Abraham says, and he's top dog. Now, I'm just, to be honest with you, I'm telling you what, what he's saying. And what I'm trying to say to you is that, yes, you can have it in a magazine, that's true. But the thing is, when, you, when the person looks at your work, right? my position is this, when they look at your work, it's just not having a flat image. They want you, you pop up. Is that too science fiction or something? You know, it's not like we have the technology now, maybe it is, since I'm thinking of it, where they, you, that you can see the work, you press a button and the, and the hologram of you comes up and talks about your work, that'd be super. We're not quite there yet. This is the next best thing, okay? So hit me up, 201-790-3368. Don't be pimped by Mac Daddy. You know, pimp on him. Mac Daddy's what? The status quo. The status quo is, is, is a pimp, is a Mac Daddy, because it moves so slow. It's a mindset, not a person. It's a mindset, okay? I'm not talking about any particular person. I'm talking about a mindset that allows this to take place. And it's okay, because that gives us latitude, you know, to go forward. In other words, we're like the lions who hunt the herd. We don't attack in the middle at the strong guys, we attack the weak guys. So we find, you know, a, a, a weakness in Mac Daddy, and his weakness is he, has, he can't move quickly. We can move faster. We can build our momentum up, and by the time he you know, realizes what we're doing, it's too late because we've already outflanked him 
You know, we've gotten to the, to the goal, we've gotten to the market faster because we don't have as many constituents. You know, we don't have, we're not logged into, clogged in the brain as it were with, with standards and, you know, status quo. We're, you know, raw. See, if you want to be with those guys, you're like, well, you know, ABC, NBC, Fox News, those are the people I prefer to have interview me because they're real legitimate people. Do that. And what happens is you just fall into the, you know, to the, the bunch of guys who believe in that stuff. You want to stand out with a candid video interview with me? That's what's going to happen. Call me, 201-790-3368. See you soon. Bye-bye.